Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy and it's a babbling Belgian and welcome back to Demon Souls. Last time we struggled our way through the first level of the Shrine of Storms and we managed to get away unscathed. Well, we died a few times, uh, a few of the first times in this series, but yeah, those skeletons are really, really, really tough. Uh, as you can see, I've spent most of my uh, souls, I've spent all of them on Hearthstone Shards with the Filthy Man in Stonefang Tunnel. And today, we're gonna need to start out with some more shopping, because I need a few items before we can actually go into a level, and I know exactly where to find them. Because we're actually going back to the Gates of Boletaria, the very first level, and while we're doing that, well, um, it's because there's a few items that are guarded by... Well, how should I put this? Um, two big creatures in this level that we never actually uh, spend our time with. We never, we, we, we really, really ignored that specific area that we're heading towards. So uh, let's go pay a visit to that very nice blue dragon. If you're going back to like these lower level uh, areas, it is ridiculous how powerful the health regeneration on this shield is, by the way, because it just... It just heals up every uh, single hit that I take. Um, I don't actually know what the behavior of the dragon is at this stage. Wait, was there? It sounded like there was a crystal lizard or something like that, but it might just be the sound of the message. I probably shouldn't be going through this as, uh, as slowly as I am right now, but... Uh, where is the dragon? Or is the dragon now permanently on level 2? Because he's not... Doesn't seem like he's going over here. Uh, there's two more guys over here, if I recall correctly. Uh, there we go. Just using the helper to clean up shop. And we're actually gathering a nice supply of healing items on top of all of that. But... But, but, but. Is the red dragon here or not? He is. Well, that's, that's a problem, isn't it? Because I, I need a few of those items over there. I, I really need them, but, but yeah, as long as the red dragon is there, I can't actually do anything about that. So, he doesn't seem to be reacting when I'm going on the bridge anymore, which is awkward. Um, maybe I can try the bridge in the second level? I don't know. Okay, so... I made my way back to the beginning of the second level. So I'm wondering if the... Um, is the dra Ah, there he is! Okay, so let's move back. And go... I have no idea if he's gonna stay here now. I guess we'll see. Let's go back to the blue dragon. All the way back. So, now we'll see how continuous these levels actually are. But, um... Is, is the dragon gone? Nope. No, the... The dragon is definitely here, and I have no idea how it will react. Do I need to an antagonize it a bit first? Hi. I'm gonna take the lower ball, actually. I have no idea what the lower ball does. There we go. Let's take a look over here. Oh, there are actually items here. Uh, so let's check this out. So double archstone shard. And double full moon grass. Better than nothing. And other than the fact that my uh, helmet is getting really hot. Jesus. I mean... This is just rude. Yeah, I really need to kill this thing, I think. If I want to get these items. Okay, so here's the plan. I bought, with all the souls that we got, it just on our short little trip there. I bought a shitload of arrows. So we have 61 normal arrows, then we have light arrows, and we have heavy arrows. Since that bastard of a dragon is just sitting out there in the open, I might as well try and kill it with a bow right now. So, I took a few knocks getting here, but I think this is gonna be fine. If I stay right over here, I think that should be fine. Let's equip the bow. So, I have a bow. I have no idea how to shoot it. I think it was something like this. Yeah, like that. And then... I don't seem to be... Am I hitting it or no? Oh, that that hit it. That That's 14 damage. I don't know if I'm going to kill it with this. And that was my final normal arrow. So that was 50... 
I think more like 60 normal arrows. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I'm, go I'm gonna try now with the heavy ones. That does 20 damage, so that's a little bit better. As long as I don't miss like that one. Oh! Uh, it, it flew off. Okay. Didn't realize I could do that. Okay. You probably need to kill it in the next level. That's why it's now running off. So that should allow us to now grab the items. So let's grab this. Don't think he's coming back, right? So let's grab this. So that's the big prize, the purple flame shield. I'm gonna grab these two. I think that's just outside the range of the tail. And then swipe. Uh, swipe. So grab this and then go back a little bit. There we go. Ooh, wow, that just went straight over your head. Yeah, it killed us in one go, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and the stupidest thing is, I need that final item. God damn it. Okay, so the red dragon is not back, which is good, because I was hesitating whether it was going to be or not. I don't know how mad the blue dragon is going to be now. I'm guessing he's going to try and swipe me again, but this time I have uh, an idea of how to handle this, I think. So he only attacks if you get close enough. So if I just grab this... I think I got out of it. I think I got out of it. Yep, there we go. Okay. I'm not going to be standing here to check out our items. I'm going to be doing that right over here. Just see if it's out inside the building. So, what do we get out of that? The purple flame shield. The purple flame shield is amazing and it's probably one of the best shields in the game. So, 100% physical attack, well, not attack, physical blockage, and 90% fire damage blockage. And that's exactly why we wanted the 90% fire defense for what we're about to do next. So, an old large shield painted with vivid purple, extremely heavy and very effective against flame. The shield is shrouded in mystery and the origins of its unique design are unknown. So there we go. Very mysterious purple flame shield. And then the other ring that we found is actually the ring of great strength. So raises equipment weight limit. Ring bestowed to King Alan's twin fangs. Raises equipment weight limit. This great strength allowed Bior of the twin fangs to wield a huge steel shield, a giant crossbow and a hefty sword all at once. So this will allow us to increase our equip burden. So if we equip this, we get 25 extra equip burden. So that's a 50% increase. Look at that. Look at that, that's exactly what we want, because with that we can actually equip the purple flame shield and still be comfortable, uh, comfortably under the limit, and we'll be making that even better in a second. So, this is what we can actually, actually look like with an equip burden of below 50%. So we have almost a full burden set aside from the gauntlets now, the adjudicator shield and the halberd, all below 50%. Now, the purple flame shield is a bit heavier, so it is 4.5 uh, weight more than the adjudicator shield. So if you equip that, we are above 50%, but we can easily remedy that by going back to the official's leggings and we only lose about 4 fire resistance because of that. And we're at 44, so way below uh, 50%, but it's still something to aim for with the remainder of our souls next time. I did just upgrade the purple flame shield a bit more since we had the souls and I had the hearthstone shards because we were we were lucky enough to get some from the hoplites along the way. Um, and the remainder of the souls, I might actually lose them in the next bit. So might as well just... No, you know what, let's just keep them. Yeah, yeah, we will. Because next up, we're finally gonna try Stonefang Tunnel 2. Yeah, we're gonna go back into the Archstone of the Digger King and we're going into the Tunnel City proper. This is a pretty big level, so I might uh, split this up into two episodes, but we'll see how far along we can get. Here we go. So, back at where we killed the um, Armor Spider, we have plenty of equipment here. These guys should not be bothered by us too much. I'm gonna try and grab the Crystal Lizard. 
There we go, we can grab that because that's more upgrade materials and now we're being followed by a pickaxe man. And actually the halberd does quite a good job of killing these guys and they are stunned more because of the, uh, the heavier impact we have with the weapon. So there we go, one single combo can kill miners. Oh, I forgot about the bombs in the minecarts. Yeah, yeah, let's just, um, let's just heal up with a miracle. There we go. I forgot about the bombs. And they're proximity bombs, so they do explode if I get closer. Come on, explode. I don't care about it. Explodes. There we go. There we go. That gives you a good dump in the controller there. So there's more bombs coming. I'll, I'll just leave that for now. Okay. These guys are getting a bit too close, and they seem to be more aggressive than... Uh, they used to be. I have a bit of range with this thing. I actually can hit multiple people in a row. So I'm not too bothered by this. And I have a whole lot of stamina right now because of the upgrades we've done. So I'm actually pretty happy with my build right now. Pretty hefty. And these guys... Yeah, we can definitely kill these guys in one combo. And then we need to hold off just a little bit, get our stamina back, and then just start whacking again. Because this guy also has a bag. So I need his upgrade materials. Oh, this guy has a hammer. He feels like he's store or something. Hammer on, man. Hammer on in the afterlife. And there we go. A lot more uh, upgrade materials. That is going to come in really nicely when we upgrade the halberd even further. Oh, wow. Okay, they still do a lot of damage, though. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Let's just heal up just a little bit so I can actually survive one hit. Or just die because of I, because I get hit twice. Okay, okay, fair enough. Lesson learned. I'm not immortal. Wait, why is the Crystal Lizard back? Is he... He actually... Wait, does this guy regenerate? That is... Ridiculous. Why would he regenerate? That doesn't make any sense. Um, so that's the bomb railway. Let's try and kill these guys again. Okay, even the punches do quite a bit of damage. Yep, yep. Definitely not learning from myself. And I died again. Okay. So I could also try my tactic from the uh, the first time I went through this level and try to keep everybody who doesn't want to kill me just alive. So they don't start attacking me at random. Yeah, that seems to work way better. As long as I don't hit these guys, they're not going to attack me. Are there more guys with bags here? Doesn't seem like it. And that's... A hammer man, and then the last one also doesn't have a back. And now we get to a very, very big mine shaft. I think this is a shortcut to the boss, if I recall correctly. So you don't really need to go this way, I think. Yeah, so this is a starting point for that. So you can slowly make your way down this scaffolding bit by bit until you reach the very bottom of everything. But you want to try and do this properly. So let's go back the other way. I'm actually not sure if you can kill these guys with the bombs. Oh yeah, you definitely can. You can definitely hit these guys with the bombs. Okay. So now there's another one coming. And I'm guessing I just need to run past it. Because if I run past it quickly enough, it's going to explode behind me. There we go. That's physics for you. And there's only three of them, apparently. But there is another... Uh, so there we go, that was a blocked fire shot. Ooh, that was probably something I should have avoided. There we go. There we go, another another official down. And we get the official's clothes. So I think that's... So now we have the, the pants and the gloves we're currently wearing. We have the clothing. So the only thing we're missing is their top hat. 
Which is fine, I guess. So this is another big elevator. But there's also a way forward. So we can go down or we can go forward. So again, this is the part of the game that I definitely don't remember anymore. Because this is also a bit of a maze. As you'll see in a second. Hello? Oh, hi. There's another one of you guys. Just try and hit me, come. There we go. Oh, this guy actually takes an extra hit. Um, as long as I dual wield, I can actually do fine in these tunnels. Because, uh, wow. I'm getting really up close and personal here. I do need to be careful because I feel like there might be traps. Okay. And there's a lot of these husks, warm husks. So I'm going to get the shield up. Aha! So there we go. We're getting into a more open cavern over here. So lots of lava down below. Yeah, basically the uh, underside of Stonefang Tunnel is hell. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. There's a worm. Hi, worm. Oh, these worms actually take a beating. They make a horrifying noise. And they take a lot of hits. Jesus. But eventually, we can actually take them down. I don't know what these guys drop. Ooh, Greystone Shards. I think that is used to make crushing upgrades. So I can actually boost up my uh, crushing battle axe with that. By the way, as long as we're not using the shield, I might as well keep the uh, adjudicator sh shield at the back. Okay, hi. I should probably get closer. Aha! So if we can hit the head, we can actually do more damage. And it is a, a matter of angling it correctly, apparently. That is interesting. Will this drop us down? I hope not. I hope not. Please don't kill us. There is a blood stain here, so somebody definitely died. We get sharp stone shards and clear stone shards. And then we get a message. If you press onward, then, then you die, probably. Okay, I think we can... Ooh. I mean, I said we can go back, but there's like... Items all the way down. So again, I feel like there's two ways. We can either take the, um, the elevator down. Or we can start dropping down slowly. And there is... Another crystal lizard. There we go. That's ours. That's ours. Large heartstone shards. I definitely need you. And then we get watch out. Yeah, so there is an item over there, but it seems to be adjacent to yeah another walkway. So the best way forward does seem to be dropping down over there. I need to be careful because I feel like this oh this entire place can start crumbling down at any second. So do I lose my armor to do this? Because I feel like we're dropping down very big chunks. Um, so let's at least go with our body armor so we're 20% less equipped. Oh, but I, I don't really have a good angle on this because there's a hole there as well. So I think if I go like this and then towards the planks over there. There we go. We took minimal damage. We have the adjudicator shield on so we are regenerating and then we have the next bit seems to be just staying close to the wall yeah just close to the wall and we're still alive okay this is going well and i think i'm gonna have to run up for this one or i could drop down the other side there is an item down there as well but it seems like i need to run a little bit as well. Ooh, and we have a character over there. We have a character over there. What do I need to take? I think that one is a safer option. I just need to run up and get the angle right. There we go. And there we go. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna equip the armor again because I, I think everybody who played the Souls game is gonna know that character we're gonna face in a minute. So, unknown hero soul. 
And then there's more items over here. I should... We're back at full health. I'm going to equip the purple flame shield again. Just so we have that extra bit of protection if we need it. Especially against fire damage because guess what? We're in fiery hell. So over here... We can now take the walkway down. And we're right behind this big uh, firebug thing. Which has a lot of power. Oh, by the way, there's also another uh, item here. I mean, shot him in the head there. There we go. If you hit him twice in the head, they're actually really easy to kill. Um, this guy might, might actually also have a weak spot, but uh, we're almost there, so bear with me. Which is even funnier, because this is, uh, I think, officially known as a, a bear bug. It actually has... does it have hands? Are those hands or antenna? Because from this angle they look like hands, but they're probably just antenna. I think it, this also... this thing also explodes at the very end. Ooh, that was actually a shield bash. It actually did. So, is that gonna explode? I think it is. It did explode, but the shield took the brunt of the damage. Okay. And we actually hit... <laughs> Oh, we actually hit patches with the explosion as well. And we get a Dragonstone Shard for our trouble, so that's exactly what I wanted. And we get... I think that's our second Flame Resistance Ring, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got two Flame Resistance Rings now. Um, that's interesting. I don't know. I didn't even know you could get two of those. So this is another dead-end pathway. So let's have a little chat with... The cheeky man over here that was waving at us, but now stopped waving. I think it's because he uh, felt a very big explosion in his backside. Are those things already annoyed by me? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. <laughs> you? You're no joke, are you? Yes, indeed. That person is fake, yes. <laughs> you. So, apparently he doesn't want to talk to us anymore, because... Yeah, he didn't, he didn't get to entrap us. That's actually really funny that he doesn't even want to start a conversation now. I got the club patches. It didn't trick me to go underneath the bear bug. <laughs> you? You're no joke, are you? No, I'm not. Okay, he keeps repeating that. I think I can wall through this. And then I can go even further down. Alright. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I don't know if I want to be somewhere, but... Okay, so there's a bunch of bear bugs over there as well. And another crystal lizard down there. Um, I think I can just grab this next item without any trouble. Like this. And then the question is, do I drop down and run... Oh no, the crystal lizard is gone. I'm not going to be able to... He's already doing his little dance, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay, let's try and grab some of those bear bugs in the back, in the back, not in the back, in the back, and try to kill him from, although, this is its front, right? Yeah, it's trying to make its way towards me. Um, you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just stay over there, please. And these two are like little ones. Are, are these? Okay, he did try to rise up towards me. It's not doing anything just yet, but it might also... It probably also explodes. No? Okay, it doesn't explode. They make a horrifying noise, though. I don't like the noise. And I think they also have a chance of dropping Dragonstone shards. Um, well, that's a problem. I think I got, yeah, I got hit a little bit. That's one headshot. And got hit by lava another, another time. I'm gonna have to heal that up. So let's grab this while we're here. Another hearthstone chunk. There's more where that came from, and now we're in, in kind of a corner.
Okay, I managed to hit the back one apparently. And there we go. Okay. Took a few of our healing items there, but managed to kill all of them. And now I think, are we at the back of that bear bug? No, there's another item down there. Do I want to risk my life getting items over there? I don't think I do. Oh, the filthy man. <laughs> Remember me? I've got plenty of wares, so bring me plenty of souls. Aren't you like extremely hot right here? You're, you're, uh, wait a second. What's that noise? Um, so, sorry, sorry, filthy man. There's like an army of insects in, in your back. That's not good, is it? Um, woo. okay, there's a lot of them and the sound is horrifying. Oh, there's one here. There that goes. Although this is, this feels a bit like they're cheating. Because they're going through. Oh god, there's one here. I, I do really need to be careful not to hit the filthy man, because of course, NPCs in Souls games can actually aggro towards you. I'm gonna heal up again. Oh, this is starting to become a bit of, a bit of bullshit. This is like a contest to see how how many of us can go through walls and how quickly first. Hi! Oh god. Yeah, he got me. I need to be careful because I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because of some flamey bugs. Let's get the adjudicator shield back on while we're talking to uh, talking to the filthy man. Hey buddy! Sorry there were some bugs. Oh, hello. You have to make a deal. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> Have you heard? Deep below this mine, there's a dragon shrine filled with dragon bones. Well, according to that scurver anyway. I'm not about to go and find out. Those bear bugs scare the living daylights out of me. Well, it didn't seem like you were all that rattled, by the way, because there were like six of them right in front of you and you didn't even give so much as a peep. Let's see what he sells. Some more hearthstone shards, which is always nice. And he actually sells large ones now as well, and dragonstone shards. Hmm, I have a bit of money to burn. And otherwise, well, <laughs> quite literally money to burn and souls to burn. Um, I think I'm gonna buy two large hearthstone shards. So like that. And then one dragonstone shard. Yes, that's gonna be all my souls gone, aside from a bit over a hundred. <laughs> my thanks. Can I actually get... Why are you red? That was... That's oh, no good. Hello. Can I actually get something else now? Have you heard about some not easy that I know? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so he still doesn't want to talk oh, about the bye. nest of uh, crystal lizards. Fine. Fair enough. I don't want to talk to you anymore either. So, there was another item over there. I want to grab that. I think I want to. And there's another item... Oh, Jesus. I think this this is another one of those big ones. He's gonna take a lot of um shit. Well, this is not good, did it? He's kind of stuck in an animation loop. <laughs> he just keeps hoping because he can't really attack me from over here. So I'm just gonna whittle it down bit by bit. And there we go. Probably should should I go back? Yeah. Big boom! Big boom. Okay, I was far enough away. Does that actually drop anything now? Sadly not. And then we get another Dragonstone shard, so definitely worth it. So then the other item is down there. Can I just drop down here? It looks like I can. Okay. So that was fine. And then we just grab the item. Another stone of a female eyes. That's always handy as well okay so that means that we can now go all the way down i suppose i'm guessing that at some point we're gonna have to head back into the uh tunnels i'm gonna grab the purple flame shield again because i thought i had it at <laughs> the durability of my weapon is definitely um in trouble as i smack it into the wall 
Okay, so there's more of those worms here, probably. There we go. Come on, hit the head. Ooh, wow, that was a nice hit. Okay, there we go. It's stuck on me. Whew. Can you can you heal up? Thank you. There we go. As long as you time your hits, you can actually kill them in two swipes. And there's an item over here. I'm guessing it's gonna be protected again. Story warrior soul. Yeah, there we go. There's another one. That's one hit. And then when he swipes back, there we go. Second hit. Okay. We got those down. We got those down. There's probably going to be another one. Aha! And we have a full gate. Let's go through this. And we get into the next area. Fine. Fine. I actually should have checked out that elevator. It might be that that elevator doesn't work just yet. And I need to activate it from down here. As is often the case in Demon Souls and Dark Souls. So nothing over there. Yeah, and items over here. That's not gonna be... Oh, wow. The atmosphere when you're in between here. I don't know if that comes across on the recording. But I can feel the lava rumbling right beside me. We get another story, the warrior soul. That was cool. Okay. Now we need to make our way through here. Oh, these are actually dead bear bugs because they have the same, like, uh, antenna on their heads. Okay, what does the... I am trustworthy. Okay, but you're not telling me to go left or right. I should probably go into the lighter hallway and not into the darker hallway, which this definitely is. And I'm way too, way too close to the screen right now. That's a big worm. Oh. There's another, there's another bear bug here. Is he actually? Wait, is he moving along? Yeah, yeah, just, just step, step a bit further, thank you. And then I can pass. Oh god, he has an ass as well. There's another bear bug over there. And as long as I don't annoy it, I suppose it won't annoy me. So let's just go. I hate tunnels. I hate tunnels. I'm gonna two hands. I'm guessing there's gonna be... Is there gonna be a worm? I think this place is not high enough for the worms. More Org of Guidance. Yeah, let's go back to the shield. The shield is safe. There's more giant bones. More giant bones. Oh, There's an item over there. Where does this get us? Is this where I've been? This goes... Wait, is this... No, that's not a spine I've seen before. That's not something you hear me say every day. That's not a spine I've seen before. Wait. Oh, are you? No. This is something else, Jesus Christ. I have no idea where I'm going right now. So, in between the ribcage, there's a dragon longsword plus one. That is our first fire weapon. I knew there was one fire weapon in this area, and I accidentally stumbled upon it. And now we have... Uh, okay. I'm guessing this is one of those rooms where you just get the item and die. Okay, hi. Uh, can, can you get the item for me, Mr. Bearbug? No, I don't think he can. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. So we can check this out. Oh, that's an explodey thingy. That's, you're an explodey thingy, right? Or not? No, wait. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of the purple flame shield, though. Damn, am I lucky I prepared for this? Because I would have blown up like three times already if it wasn't for the shield. So we've been here as well. But how do I get this? Can I have this guy follow me? So I can get behind it. Because right now I either need to kill it, but I don't really want to kill it. Come on. Come on, big boy. Get out of the tunnel. Come eat me. I have nice snacks for you. Come on, boy. 
Oh, don't tell me I need to attack you. Come on. Okay, I can't even attack this one. There we go. Come on. Is he just gonna... There we go. He is re Wait, is he retreating? Don't retreat, attack me. Okay, so this thing does not want to exit the tunnel. Is there maybe... Why are there illusory walls in tunnels? Because this thing is not budging. So I could just whittle it down, but that's gonna take forever again. Okay, so I'm probably missing something, but there it goes. Kaboom! Kaboom. Um, who, did I just kill somebody who was behind that? Hello? W were you alive a second from now? Doesn't seem, he was on fire because of the fact that I killed the bear bug. Oh, I hope I didn't kill that man. Okay, so this is... It, this is... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I did, actually got one. There we go. I actually got one of those. Um, this bear bug I could probably do without. There we go. There he goes. Oh, he's cute. He's a bit on the on the fatter side. I need to get past you, by the way. Can you just can you just move, move like over here somewhere? Like, can you for me? There we go. That's that's better. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'm just gonna go now. Thank you. So then we have either the pathway up or the pathway down. I should probably get the shield up again. But this seems like another. Lava room? Oh, I'm not gonna touch that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt myself. Like on my, in my little toe. It's gonna be on fire. Ooh, this seems like a long hallway. This seems to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the hallway. That will probably lead us... Ooh, things are getting redder. Things are getting darker. And we're getting into a mine shaft again. Okay. Okay, and this hasn't been destroyed, so this is absolutely new. Okay, so there's a crystal lizard over there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump to anything. I need, I just need to be careful because yeah, he's just gonna run away. This seems like a pit of death, and it probably, most likely, very likely is. Um, there is a way out. There's actually a ladder. How do you get up there? Oh wait, is this the um, the pit that you can drop down from the uh, the very beginning? This could very well be it. I have no idea where that other elevator leads. Then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna take the plunge without my armor and then head into the hallway because I'm assuming this is gonna spawn there. Yeah, a hell of a lot of those guys. So let's just do this. Those guys are probably just stuck in their merry little ways anyway. Yeah, they're just gonna scream and puke at me, but they don't have a, a lot of range with that puke. Oh wow! Okay, I should probably not fight these guys. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave them be. They're absolutely fine over there. I'll just go into this tunnel and keep my shield up, because I have no idea. Is this? This might very well be it, by the way. Yeah, that's the fog gate. Okay. Okay, that is that is. Oh, Jesus Christ! That, that scared me more than it should have. Oh, what? The, what was that guy doing? Stop doing that. That's not very nice. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get that item? Oh, that was still in effect. Great. Okay, that was absolutely not clear. Okay, fair enough. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. This is probably the the worst idea ever. This this is this is not gonna be good. This is yeah. This is probably the worst boss fight of the game. I I don't like this boss fight. And there's an item over there that I want to grab. Do I need to go all the way on the, the other side? Underneath the ribcage. Yep, there we go. 
And we got another stone of ephemeralized. Just if you want to have your body back right before getting it taken away again. Um, yeah, this, this is going to be bad. So, just as a bit of a look behind the scenes, we actually um, are now three days further along than the last scene that you just saw me in. So I, for some reason, took a break right before the boss fight, just indicating how scared I am of this thing. Um, this is not going to end well, especially since I just took a break, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be extremely rusty. Yeah, I guess, I guess this is it. This is going to be... The boss fight, the first boss fight that we're actually gonna die on, because the previous deaths were not on the boss fight. Here we go. Oh yeah, this boss fight also has a... I mean, the scene looks amazing. It also has a, a cinematic, indicating how terrible this is gonna be. It does look badass, though. It looks like a scene out of Doom. And there he is. There he is. That's... There, there's the flame lurker. He looks amazing, by the way in this remake. I hate him already. Okay, hi buddy. Hi, hi buddy. So this thing is extremely aggressive and it only gets worse. Oh, wow. Okay, yep. Got it. I'm gonna eat. So this time I blocked. I can actually block the attacks rather well. I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage as well. Oh, I'm taking damage from the floor. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's do this. And then go back to the shields. I'm gonna have to switch between one-handed and two-handed here. So there we go. And heal up. I think I might. I'm not sure if two handing. God damn it, the rolling isn't working. Come on. I'm gonna go through most of my healing items here. There we go, that's another triple hit. Yeah, okay, that was a good roll. And that was not a good roll. He's actually not that aggressive as I remember. There we go, and then I can go in. Ah, damn it, he got me on the backswing there. So he is actually getting more aggressive now. Oh wow, he got me in the back! Is that me dead? No, it's not. I'm gonna use the pillars here. Oh wow, okay. He is getting way more aggressive now. Okay, fair enough, but my armor is holding. Ah, don't get in the lava. Come on. Heal up. Heal up. Got this, buddy. Come on. Oh, wow. He's actually... Jesus Christ, that was quickly off his previous head. So I need to wait until he does the big one. Like something like that, for example. Oh, he's not... He's not holding off anymore, is he? I think I... I got hit quite severely there. Let's heal up. Still good to go. Still good to go. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I missed him. There we go. I'm gonna start doing just single hits. Because I feel like he's getting way more aggressive now. Okay. I need to get the shield back up. Let's 
heal up. I blocked that one. I blocked that one as well. And then roll back the he is actually gonna... Nope. I'm in the lava again. I'm just gonna do single hits. Single hits. Don't be too scared of it. Damn it, even him walking away is hurting me. Come on, do the overhead smash. Yeah, like that. And then double wheel. Ooh. Oh, I think. Ooh, that was a double swing. Come on, get out. There we go. I got him. I got him. Woo. Damn. Okay. That was like 14 healing items. <laughs> But Flame Lurker is down. Holy crap. Well, that was something. Damn. Uh, that only took like six minutes, but holy crap. Okay, we did that first try. I went through basically every single half moon grass there, but we made it. We actually made it. That was awesome. I mean, I got his rhythm down a little bit, but just the amount of fire damage that you take from being close to him. That was really, really scary. But not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Just because of the extra armor, I'm guessing, I didn't take that much damage. I was very close to dying a few times. Just going to grab a few uh, items here and there. Because even the arena, there are certain spots that you shouldn't be standing on, like the lava. But wow, that was one hell of a boss fight. Let's grab the soul, searing demon soul. And we can actually do something with that now. But, of course, as always, let's first return to the Nexus. Because we got a buttload of souls. Damn. Now, first things first, we need to repair our equipment. Because that has been decreated a lot by all the monsters in the way to the Flame Lurker. So there we go. 877 souls just to repair everything. Because we were on fire constantly. Now, what we can also do is upgrade the Halberd once again to plus 6. Which is exactly where I want it to be. So let's just do exactly that. Halberd to plus six. I don't know if we have enough. No, we only have one Hearthstone shard left to upgrade the purple flame shield. So uh, we'll leave it at that. And right now our build is looking alive. pretty okay. So that only costs us like a little over uh, 1000 souls. So we still have plenty to pump into our stats. So that looks like we should be able to get four levels out of this. So let's go with one bit of vitality, one bit of endurance, and then two bits of strength. Ooh, that is just about, just about right. So that's 24 strength, 22 endurance, and 16 vitality. Next up, we'll start pumping that into fate as well. But uh, first things first, we need to be stronger and more defensible. So 24,000 souls down the drain and we're left with only 51 souls. That is actually very efficient. Now, with that, I'm actually going to take a little break because we've uh, seen enough excitement uh, for one episode and we just completed like the second stage of Stonefang Tunnel, which is to my mind probably one of the hardest boss fights in the game. But uh, I guess there might be another boss that's going to prove me wrong here since we haven't died to a boss just yet. So uh, let's see where we're going to go next because we're going to start... Uh, looking into more different experience, well, not experience spots, but upgrade spots. So, uh, something to look forward to next time. So, thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of Demon Souls. Stay nutty!